I want to apologize before we get started because as I was looking through the footage, I didn't realize that using my 360 camera selfie stick uh, as a way of hitting some of the fun pool party balls was causing some drinks to be spilled. So let's dive in. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is CL, and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. Real talk, I don't like to make, like, look at me, living my best life content. I like to create helpful travel videos to help you to travel smarter. So in this vlog, I really wanna share with you what a day is like on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady with tons of helpful tips so that you can plan your day and really just see what it's like on the ship. So let's dive in with why my day started the way it did. And that's because uh, I was really hungover from Scarlet Night the night before. Um, and not so much because they don't serve good alcohol, they serve great alcohol on this cruise, but because we were drinking soju. And if you don't know what soju is, it's, it's like a very sweet version of sake with lower alcohol alcohol content. Um, and that's because at Gun Bay, one of the best restaurants on the ship, you play drinking games with all the people you were sitting with. And it's a really, really, really freaking fun time. But drinking soju has too much sugar and made me feel very hungover because then that went straight into drinking champagne again at Scarlet Night, which is a night in which everyone dresses up in red. And there's just a really fun pool party, a really fun after party and entertainment all over the ship. It's very very much like if you've ever been to New York City, Sleep No More, where every person on the ship has a different experience um, with the entertainment. And so Scarlet Night was really fun, but I woke up the next morning feeling not the best. So one of the places I love to get coffee, and by I love, I mean I love meatball to go get me coffee, is in the galley. And that's upstairs in like the food hall type area. And they have really delicious coffee, and he gets me a flat white every morning. So normally one of two things would happen. I would either take that coffee and enjoy it on the terrace, and the majority of the rooms on this cruise have a terrace. You can get inside rooms or solo rooms, but majority of the rooms have a terrace. So normally I'd be out here drinking my coffee, or I would go to, and this is kind of a secret that a lot of people don't know about, is that a couple of the restaurants do brunch. So Razzle Dazzle does brunch, especially if you like a more sweet brunch. You can get like really delicious French toast and other sweet items, or if you like something a little bit more savory, you should go to The Wake, which is the steak restaurant. They also have an amazing seafood tower, but The Wake has a more savory brunch where you can get steak and eggs or a pork belly Benedict, super delicious. But I didn't want to eat this morning because I may have been eating pizza at 2 a.m. last night and I'm pretty full from that. And the reason why there's no time for coffee on the terrace is because we were going to go be muddy buddies. Uh, <laughs> we went to the thermal suite. So what's cool is there's a really beautiful spa experience on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. So this morning, we everyone on the ship has an option of booking a three hour time slot at the thermal suite. Um, and this is something that's available to people with a VIP band, the black band instead of the red band, meaning you're a VIP rock star or you booked one of the rock star or mega rock star suites. Um, and so we went to the thermal suite because we got three hours of time um, as a result of being VIP. And so inside of there, you have a couple things. You've got like the sauna, the steam room, and you can basically jump back and forth between hot and cold. But there's also unique things, like there's the mineral salt room, which is super cool. And they also have hot and cold tubs, which is really nice. Um, but the really unique thing is you grab, they have these little cups of mud, and you grab the mud cups and you go into the special mud room where you like apply the mud and it feels like a steam room in this area. Um, and so you sit in the mud room and enjoy, and then they have like showers everywhere. They also have a cold hose. <laughs> Sorry, Meepaw. So normally it's $39 for a three hour booking at the Thermal Suite, but to get over a hangover, it's priceless. 
but we had places to be because today we pulled up at Bimini Island. This is in the Bahamas. And if you're sailing with Virgin out of Florida, out of the Miami port, then they always stop on this island. And the reason for that is because their private beach club is here. And it is super duper sexy. But what's interesting about Bimini is that this port isn't like normal ports and that it's not like really humongous with all the cheesy port things that they have, you know, with all like the chotskis and like the trinkets and stuff like that. Like there's really nothing at the port. You can walk across the bridge and enjoy the beach that's over there. But generally most people are getting onto the free shuttle. Um, and because we were VIP rock stars, we got a separate shuttle that took us over directly to the beach club. Otherwise the shuttle will stop at a few places where you can do different kinds of tours, whether you go to the Hilton's Resorts World some people like to gamble, some people like to go like rent jet skis or boats. There's a drop off for that. There's a drop off for an area where you can pick up a golf cart and just drive all over the island. Um, but we wanted to go straight to the beach club and there's a reason why. So the way I like to time things for the beach club is 1 to 3 p.m. This is like the poppin' part of the party. This is when the DJ comes on. We had DJ Leo Medina spinning. He did a fantastic job. But it's when they like have the whole Happenings cast, which is their entertainment crew, coming out and like really hyping up the crowd. They were there in their mermaid outfits with water guns and it was just super fun. They bring out all of the pool floaties and it's the part of the party where it's just like everyone's in the pool and it's really, really fun. So one to three is a time to be at the beach club. But aside from just the pool area, there's so, so much more, right? You have the entire beach area, which is so beautiful. They have chairs available and out for everyone. Obviously you can rent um, private cabanas either by the pool or by the beach, but they have just beautiful spaces to hang out in but we chose to spend after the pool party we spent the afternoon in the VIP rockstar area which is just a little bit of a separate area away from the beach and they provide food and also free Wi-Fi so the free Wi-Fi that you get on the ship also extends out there so you got free food free Wi-Fi um, free water obviously you gotta pay for drinks um, all over but in the VIP area they have servers and so David was really awesome. He took care of us um, and we ate. Um, oh, I love the food. You have to get the crispy cassava. It's, it's like quadruple, if not more than that, fried. And it's like so crispy, so delicious. And I also had the two different curries they had. They had a pumpkin curry and a chicken curry. And so um, David was our waiter. We had some really nice drinks, uh, was drinking Moet, that was fantastic. Um, and that is one thing to know is there is no drinks package with Virgin Voyages. There's a full video on that in the description below but the drinks are reasonably priced. Obviously you can get glasses of Moet at $21, but you can also get glasses of sparkling rosé at $9, or you can get um, Chandon Brut at $11, totally fair. So I think pricing wise, and again, if you're comparing this to where I used to fly on the private jet to Bentonville, Arkansas, when I used to work at Walmart corporate, obviously those drinks are significantly cheaper. But when I lived in New York City in San Francisco, go, yo, drinking on this ship is cheap. So we had a fantastic time in the VIP area, but then uh, we would normally do the beach games and the beach games are super fun. So the whole Happenings cast, the entertainment crew, will bring people out onto the sand and you do things like build inappropriate sand castles or do relay races or just like really ridiculous fun games. And then everyone gets drinks together afterwards. It's really fun. But there was a rain cloud coming in and I wanted to peace out of there because we had something to do later. that was very sexy VIP, which I'm excited to talk to you about. But first we wanted to get back. So we got back to the boat. Um, and one of the spaces that I love to go eat at is at the dock house. So it's helpful to know that all the specialty dining is included. So unlike Royal Caribbean or who we're sailing with next week at MSC, you have to pay additional for specialty, but here it's all included. And so we love going to the dock house because it's little tapas style plates 
um, of things like steak and chicken and shrimp and octopus and it was super delicious. So we did Doc House for a little while. Alex, the service here is fantastic. Alex took care of us. We had a really good time there. Ooh, an insider tip. And I have a whole secrets video of like things that a lot of people don't know about on this ship that are really helpful because I've been on this a bunch of times. And if you're getting some value out of this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing and tell me in the comments if you are coming on this ship anytime soon. My friend can hook you up with insane deals. So make sure you check out that info in the description below. There's also a secrets video in there for you as well because one of the things a lot of people don't know about is at the dock house, they have a whole outdoor area also, the dock, which is filled with day beds with a view of the back of the boat. So you can look out into the ocean and enjoy one of these day beds without having to fight everyone else for the day beds at the normal pool area, which can get super packed. And they have a new limit of 40 minutes. So in other words, if your stuff is left by the pool area for more than 40 minutes unattended, they will take that to lost and found. Um, basically to prevent people from holding the day beds all day because it's so hard to get one. Anyway, go to the dock, get a day bed, watch the secrets video below. And the reason why we couldn't spend too long there because there's other day beds to hang out at. And so going back to what VIP will get you as a rock star, access to Richard's rooftop is one of them. So Richard's rooftop is an exclusive space on the front of the ship. It's actually very, very large. And there's day beds here and just beautiful spaces to hang out. But every day from five to six, um, they have their sail away party or rather their cocktails party um, in which they are just pouring out free glasses of Moet. And so we were there drinking tons and tons of champagne and by we I mean me and it was fantastic <laughs> and so we were supposed to get a tour from our friend of the mega rockstar suite um, but that friend was busy so I didn't get to see it just yet but we went back to the room to get ready because Carlos puts on an amazing show. Carlos, Carlos the Uber driver is the drag queen on this ship. And if you're not aware of this, there's a lot of like edgy, really awesome entertainment on this ship. And that's because it's adults only. It's just a different vibe. And so Carlos, the Uber driver, is a phenomenal drag queen that we've seen on this ship before. But she did a little bit more of a private show um, on the rocks, which is one of the bar areas on Scarlet Lady. And it was just really, it was really cool. Carlos is super talented, did some singing, did some Q and A with the audience. It was super fun. Um, and so we went and had some drinks and watched Carlos for a little bit before heading over to an evening show. And so this show was actually something different that wasn't on the previous sailings we've been on before. And it was really cool. It was actually a variety show, which is different for Virgin Voyages, um, but they had everything. <laughs> actually, I don't even know to how, how to describe what we saw. We saw everything from like acrobats to singing, to dancing, um, to fun audience interaction. Uh, but it was different because they served dinner with the show. And so it was held in the manor and we had, actually dinner was really fantastic. Um, we had different appetizers from like beets to burrata. And then they brought out some really delicious main dishes. And like, that's one of the things is like, it's not just, and you can, you can, a lot of people talk, I don't know why, a lot of people talk about how like, oh my God, I was starving on this ship. Like the portion sizes are too small. Um, the portion sizes are fine, but the other thing is you can ask for as much additional servings as you want. Um, but we had the chicken and we also had the fish, which was super delicious and perfectly cooked. The attention to detail on the dining really is there and really does make this ship very special in that sense. Um, but we had a fantastic dinner and a show at the ship show. And after that, um, well, Meatball passed out. He totally passed out in the room. I, the night is not over. He took a power nap. Um, he took a power nap for a while. Uh, and I got some of my own stuff done, but it was time to get dressed because it was disco night and a circus show. And one of the things I just really love about this ship is um, the parties are really fun. And I really like how it feels like you're in a New York City or South Beach Miami nightclub, but you don't get that pretentious vibe. And too many people think like, 
oh, is this ship like just a party ship? And they have really fun parties, but it's not, it's not, it can be wild, but not always. Um, it, it really is for everyone. And so the, the disco night, in my opinion, was a perfect example of what it's like because this ship is not a bunch of 20 year olds. Um, in fact, more people are here celebrating their 40s and really this, this ship caters to mostly people who are 55 and up. Um, and everyone was out there dancing to disco and we had a freaking fantastic time. They had some really fun acrobats um, in acrobatics and circus style stuff in the beginning. So there was a show in the beginning and then it just opened up to the dance floor and we had a great time dancing with everybody. Oh, and one helpful tip. Um, so the pizza spot is open until 2 a.m. But that buzzer, so once you order your pizza, you get a buzzer, it will reach from the seventh floor all the way down to the sixth floor in the manor. So in other words, I love to go upstairs, order my pizza, go back to the nightclub, enjoy myself for the 30 minutes it takes while everyone's pizzas are being made. And then I go back and pick it up and then have late night pizza. So yo, that's what a day on this ship looks like. It's fun. And I mean, today will be different because we're at sea today and we'll do more active things. Um, I love the whole, detox to retox mentality on this cruise. And today we're gonna to do things like play dodgeball and do a 90s boy bands dance class and do a bungee class later. Oh my gosh, the ship is so much fun. And so there really is something for everyone, tons of entertainment on the ship, really delicious dining. And you should check out, this is one of many videos, links in the description below for you. And yo, if you got some value, cheers that like button. Tell me if you have a helpful tip and something you did on your day at sea, if you've been here. Um, I'd love to know in the comments below, but I'm Christine Lozada. Connect with me. Make sure you check out my friend's amazing discount. It'll get you a ton of free sailor loot. I haven't paid for a single glass of champagne, not just because I've been in the VIP area, but I will see you in the next adventure. Ciao.